Joanna, I think here the view is the Prime Minister has pretty much said the clock is now ticking uh, on the Euro with a very blunt warning of Prime Minister's questions that it was make or potential break-up time uh, for the Euro. And that follows remarks from those close to George Osborne that it was decision time over Greece. And you do sense within government they feel that really it's a matter of weeks, maybe months, but something has to be done soon. Well, joining me is the uh, Conservative MP, Mark Reckless. I mean, how long do you think the Eurozone countries have now got to put in place some sort of a rescue package for Greece? I mean, very little. I, I think clearly it was a mistake for the Chancellor to forecast that the Euro was here to stay. But, yeah, we shouldn't com compound that by criticising counterparts in Europe who are, who are planning for the Euro to break up. Because I think the sooner the euro does break up, the sooner they can start picking up the pieces, the sooner they can get Europe back to growth. And, and that's what, what we all want to see. Well, give us a sense of timelines here. I mean, are we talking about something happening in days, weeks, when? And I think for Greece, it could well be, be weeks. But I think what we need to focus on in this country is, is really Ireland. I don't think there's much we can go about, do about Greece. I mean, it would be good if uh, your viewers could again go on, go, on, go on holiday, you know, so, so support Greece, allow them to earn their way when it's cheaper to do so. But in the meantime, I have to think, you know, what's going to happen in, in, in Ireland on our, on our doorstep? Is there going to be contagion there? And, you know, if, if so, would they have to, to go it alone like Greece? Or will we in this country stand ready to support a return to sterling in return for protection of UK creditors? I think that's the, the key question for which the Treasury should be contingency planning. And isn't, isn't there a case for saying that actually the Prime Minister, by making these remarks, is actually fueling the uncertainty and compounding the difficulty and problems facing Greece. And that's what the Chancellor was saying, I think, yesterday about his European counterparts. But I, I, I don't agree with that. I, I, I think what the Prime Minister is doing is, quite rightly, facing up to reality. And if this had happened sooner, then perhaps we could already see our economy back to growth. But the problem is the euro just d doesn't work. It was a, a, a terrible mistake. Uh, and all, all, all we can do is you know, encourage people to recognise that mistake and plan and as soon as quickly get back to national currencies, get back to growth. And I hope that's something we'll, we'll support. But we have to recognise our role is, is limited in this. It's not for us to say, I told you so. But I do think we should look at the situation in Ireland, speak with people in Ireland and see what we can do in the UK to offer support perhaps see a return to sterling for the Irish economy in order to protect creditors here in the UK as well as to help them back on their feet. Okay, Mark, uh, reckless, uh, thanks very much. Well, there's a thought. Ireland um, returning out of Europe, we'll see. But the pace of events is moving very, very rapidly. We have got a big speech from David Cameron tomorrow on the economy. Then he's off to the G8 where the euro crisis is expected to dominate. When he gets back from that, he's straight into an EU council in Brussels. So as I say, the velocity of political events really now moving very, very quickly.